We're live. Do the Instagram thing. Oh. You forgot, didn't you? I did. It takes a second. But come on. Well, we're faster there than There it goes. Is. Right there. Boom. See? We want to be faster. How Fast. about that? We got it going on. I can't do that. <laughs> I got to say what day it is, though. What is it? And I didn't even have to look. Because it's the day before Valentine's Day, February the 13th at yeah. um, 4 o'clock Central Time. Valentine's Day is always on the 14th. It is. Never changes. And that's our buddy Ben Ray's birthday. Oh, it is. Michael Key's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I watched this show oh, when I was goodness. down and out, <laughs> and it was this detective, and it yeah. was in a small, small town. Yeah, yeah. And, um, they had brought another detective in from another town. And so, you know, he's like going around with her and, and she's like, how's so-and-so doing? And he says, fine. And they get to conversating and such, and they get back in the car. And the little guy that, that came to work with her said, you know, everybody around here. Yeah. That's my cousin. She, she knew she was related to or knew yeah, right. everybody in the town. Oh my goodness. Mm. Sounds like you though. You do. You always do it. I'm not related to anybody. No, but you know. I don't have any family in Dallas County. Well, I do. I do have. But you just know, like, family. that's Michael. I, had, I didn't know that was Michael's cousin. You didn't know Ben Ray mm -mm. was Michael's cousin? I didn't. His first cousin. Their mamas mm -hmm. are sisters. I can't keep up with that. Well, <laughs> if your friend Chip had had a cousin, okay, that yeah. you hung out with when you were little, yeah. Which I hung out with Ben and Michael was his cousin. So that's hmm. how it works. You remember things from long ago. I guess so. Uh, there's Michael. First cousin. I knew that. First cousin. Miss Clara and Miss Charlotte are sisters. I can't keep up with it. You can now. I'll forget it. Well. I'll forget it. After this is over with, I'll, I'll, I'll forget it. You know, your mind's only got so much bandwidth. I told me it's like girl, a computer, you know, you can't hold but so much in your mind. I don't know how many gigabytes we got. I need to erase some of mine and start new. Yeah. Because I can't remember anything currently. I remember all this garbage from long ago. <laughs> I didn't mean Ben's birthday is a garbage, but <laughs> I just mean I remember stuff that I should <sighs> non important things, right? I changed out the filter today. Uh-huh. And this is like the second glass. And it tastes terrible. Oh, so now you can taste the water. No, I mean, this tastes bad. This well, tastes... you know, you're supposed to throw out like like the first six glasses. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've All been right. seeing that refrigerator flashing. Well, first it was saying order filter for yeah. like two weeks. And then it got to the point where it said replace filter. And I replaced but we already it. had it, so yeah. we didn't need to order it. No, I replaced it. Now we need to order some, don't we? Was that the last no, one? No, uh -uh. I think I ordered a whole bunch of them. Okay. Yeah. I'm surprised we know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, how's everybody doing here on this gorgeous, gorgeous Tuesday here? It is gorgeous, but there's still a lot of water standing everywhere. Not here. Yeah. But in, everywhere. Yeah, um, we got a lot of rain. On the way to town, oh my gracious. We got a lot of rain. I was I saw a lot of people on here earlier and it looks like everybody was having warm weather. Huh. Yeah. I saw somebody in Miami said it was 80 degrees. Well, I just came back from my car, which said it was 57 degrees yep. here. But I'm that's jacket weather for me. Somebody wanted to know why I wasn't drinking the well water. Well, we just ran out this morning and I hadn't had a chance to go fill the thing back up. The thing is at the yeah. little needle down at the bottom and I, I i literally picked the jug up and tilted it forward on my last glass <laughs> so haven't 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 um filled it up today yeah but we've been drinking it yeah i've been drinking it been enjoying it tastes good it does taste good tastes good it really does except one day one day jason filled it up and i said this water doesn't taste right he said what do you mean and I said, well, it doesn't taste right. And he said, oh, I bet I know why. Because I had turned the pump off because the pond got so full. And then I just cut the pump back on. And so mm. the pump had not ran long enough to get to that 
good water. I reckon so. I don't know. We'll have to, something we'll have to experiment Well, we with. dumped it out and started over. Yeah, I mean, it's been tasting fine since, so. I think that's what it was. I think so, too. It just got its new burst of so energy too. going. It, um, I want to say we got probably between, I'd say roughly at least four inches in the last couple of days <laughs> of rain. At least. So I read this thing <laughs> last night. I'm on this um, group. We love Lake Mitchell, yeah. which is where we go to the lake. Uh -huh. And so, you know, things come up on my <laughs> social media feed and whatnot. And this guy had posted, we got 10 inches of rain at Lake Mitchell. And then I read the edited, which I didn't see the post until it was edited. He had gotten a new rain gauge and it was actually Cinnamon. four inches, 10 centimeters. <laughs> Everybody was like, oh my gosh. You know, people commenting like, I live on Lake Mitchell and I didn't get but three point something. Mm. something. <laughs> that reminds me when I worked at the car dealership. At some point, they um they they switched up the 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 odometers and the clusters yeah. where you could change it to kilometers. All right. And some people would change theirs on kilometers uh -huh. and y'all it would freak them out. We would have people come in and say I just bought this car and now I got 15,000 miles on it and I haven't driven it. And so, you know, we all, at first, you know, it kind of freaked us out, but then we, you know, we caught on pretty quick. Yeah, because what was going that, on. that little KM over to the side or mm -hmm. whatever it is is so small that you wouldn't notice it if you're, right. you know. So, uh, yeah, I won't, I won't forget there. Somebody said, man, I was doing 120. <laughs> I didn't even get pulled over. I didn't get pulled over. <laughs> Yeah, that was kind of comical. I had to show it to me, Carl. I said, the lake got 10 inches of rain, and she read the edited part, too. So, 10 inches she of figured rain. figured out that. It'll show mess you up. Yeah. It'll show mess you up. Well, Peaches was wrong on the Super Bowl. She was. She was wrong. She still got her breakfast, though, didn't she? She still got her breakfast. <laughs> she, But she was incorrect, and it happened just like I told you guys it was going to happen. I told y'all that every year Peaches predicts Super Bowl, the opposing team that she, you know, the team she picks against this year was KC. Mm -hmm. We had some KC fans come over and we're not too happy about Peaches pick. <laughs> we can't control it. Y'all, it's the <laughs> funniest thing. <laughs> and then what's so funny is that they come back to the to to the post after the game was over with and they wanted to make dang sure that peaches knew she was wrong she was wrong <laughs> she was wrong but peaches stuck her tongue out and she said but i still get my breakfast in the morning i still got my great don't worry about it <laughs> i'll do better next year oh me it, it is, is what it is it is hilarious it is it i get tickled every time um because it's all just for fun, but it just just it stirs the pot. <laughs> People get their feelings hurt. It stirs the over pot. my pig. <laughs> That's right. Oh goodness! Oh my gracious! But um, uh, I did enjoy the Super Bowl. It was a really good game. Sometimes they're not that good, but that one was a really good game. It really, it really was. And honestly, I you know we're from Alabama, so we we don't care. You know, no. we don't have a favorite. You know, you know what I tend to do? I tend to, and I think this is common here in states that don't have a pro team, is that if they're a college fan like we are, they lean towards the team that has the most players from the college that they support. All so right. mine's Alabama. Well, both teams had a player each. Oh. So that wasn't no tiebreaker there. <laughs> so I ended up finding myself <laughs> – Pulling for San Francisco because Peaches picked San Francisco. Hmm. Well, I could hear some every now and then going on. <laughs> and I didn't know what was going on or who was ahead or any of that stuff. I just yeah. and then and then I'd hear some some stomping around, and that was when he danced at halftime. He thought he was Usher himself. That's right. But uh, you know, it all panned out. It I didn't happened. watch it. You didn't watch it. I, I was up there by myself. Um, but it was fun. It was fun. Only thing that I, the commercials just seemed a little, they didn't seem like Super Bowl commercials. They just seemed like 
regular old, just if you were watching, you know, Housewives of Atlanta, you know, they were just regular old. Well, you can't say that because here's what happens is every year some people say the halftime show was terrible. Well, every year some people say the TV commercials just weren't where they should be. Right. So either you're wrong or it really was that way. Well, I'm usually the person that always says that every year is great. You know, every so year. Not. Maybe so they I, were what, I don't know. They just seemed like they were, wasn't bad. They were just, just. Not over the top. They just, this is what I think. This is what I think. I think these brands and businesses are so scared that they're going to make somebody angry. <laughs> that, well, that's going to happen. You that, can forget it. That they don't, they don't want to get in trouble and boycott it. And I think they're just, I think they were just a little nervous. Look, if he just <laughs> makes people angry, there's no telling what Nabisco could do. Oh, you know, the, I mean, the only one I like, and I can remember that, that only one I stands out that I even remember is the Dunkin' Donut commercial with Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, and Tom Brady, and then J-Lo. And you showed that to me. To me, it was absolutely hilarious. And you showed that I one I did to show me. it to you. But I haven't seen any other ones. But other than that, that's the only one I remember. That was it. I just, I don't know, just just seemed <laughs> just seemed like regular old, regular old commercials. Regular old TV. Just regular old TV. Well, normally the TV that I watch doesn't contain commercials, so I wouldn't know what a commercial was if I saw it. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. That's what, that's what made it even more disappointing. Yeah, because you're kind of watching it. I even yeah. asked Mary Carl if she wanted to watch the game with me, and she said, no. <laughs> and I said, well, what about for the commercials? No. Oh. What about for the halftime show? No. So we didn't watch it. Didn't watch it. We didn't watch anything. I think we just sat there and looked at each other the whole time. I thought y'all watched something while I was up here. I don't know. I don't know. I know I turned on the, I turned on the Super Bowl because I could hear music playing up here. Yeah. And so I turned on the Super Bowl and it was over. The oh, halftime, halftime show, show was, was over. over. Yeah. You missed it. I you missed the halftime show. I don't know how to work that remote. Yeah. <laughs> I was just too slow. Yeah. I was too slow. So, well. Well, Let me tell y'all what happened to me a few minutes ago. So my mama, she didn't sleep well, and she needed some groceries. So we did a Walmart pickup in which she told me what she wanted. I got it all in, and Mary Carl and I went and picked it up. So in town is a special thing for us. We don't go every day. So being in town, I thought, I sure would like one of those. They call them rice water. Or yeah, poor chow. Is that I how you say it? Ask me now. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> it's a too sweet of a drink that I haven't had anything that I've really enjoyed in a long time. So mm -hmm. I thought I'll get me one. Mm -hmm. So I got it. Well, I pull into Walmart parking lot, and I didn't have my drink down in my cup holder. I had it sitting on the console kind of thing. About that time, it falls over. It's in a plastic cup with a lid on it. Yeah, but that don't so, mean nothing. Well, I pick it up, and it had spilled some. Yeah. And so I pulled the car over, and I got out, because I always have a roll of paper towels in the car. So I got my roll of paper towels, and I start wiping it up. Mary Carl had put it in the cup holder at this time. The cup holder is overflowing. It did have a hole in it. Oh, no. The drink had a hole in it. And so I set it outside the car while I cleaned up. And I picked up my cup, and it was nothing but ice. It was gone. It was gone. She went back like and that. got you another one. I don't have that kind of heart. <laughs> I spent $5 for this drink. And it all spilled out. Oh, my goodness. And so, of course, I do would never litter. I yeah. just I don't do that kind right. of thing. So I set that drink outside my door and I shut my door because I'm cleaning up. Mary Carl said, Mama, you're not just going to leave that cup sitting there. <laughs> I said, no, ma'am, I'm not. I got to clean up the car first. And so, you know, I mean, to think that she thought I was going to leave that oh, cup there. Oh, my goodness. But she, I guess she knew I was kind of angry. I guess so. All my drink had spilled out. Probably so. All of it. I'm talking about I had not taken two sips of it. <clears throat> all gone. You know how big that it's cup is. It's a big cup. It was a big mess. It's a big cup. It took a big roll of paper towels to clean it up. <sighs> <clears throat> it was frustrating. 
I didn't know this until thing. now. I know. Yeah. I didn't tell you because I wanted it to be a surprise. You know what? I didn't tell you. Somebody mentioned it too. Getting back to Super Bowl. You know who sang halftime? Reba. She didn't sing at halftime. I mean, uh, the Star Spangled Band. That's right. National Anthem. Before the game started. And she killed it. I mean, she was. Well, we were eating dinner I'm, during that time. Yeah, I know it. And I cooked Jason some hot wings. That's right. And I had planned this days in advance. I knew the Super Bowl was coming. I don't know what difference it makes. <laughs> but <laughs> I, um, I had in my head that I was going to cook, cook him some hot wings. So he had hot wings and Mary Carl and I had leftovers. Lima beans and mashed potatoes and cube steak. That was good. It was good. Um, But you had your hot wings. I know, wings but, the, your... but the cube steak was good the night yeah. before. So he had his wings and we could hear Reba singing. I think you came up here while I was finishing up. I was. I love Reba. Yeah, Reba's a good lady. I love Reba. Even Mary Carl likes Reba. Yeah. That's saying something. Yeah, Mary Carl's not a big musical person. No, we just got tickled <laughs> at some songs that we were hearing on the way here. <laughs> she she likes, she she thinks they're funny. Oh, this she one gets so was tickled. funny. Oh, okay. I can't remember the lyrics, but we both laughed all the way here. Um. Well, me and her had some daddy-daughter time yesterday. You did. I was quite. You're, you didn't feel good yesterday. Well, par for the course, yeah. but I wanted to go and yeah. I couldn't. Well, you proceed to tell me that Mary Carl wants to go thrift store shopping. Yesterday. Yeah, because she had been telling me for the week prior. I told y'all on the last live mm -hmm. that she said, Mama, when I get better, I want to go to the thrift store. That's right. <coughs> so she was better yesterday. Mm -hmm. And uh, she told me yesterday morning, can we go to the thrift store? Well, it was still kind of storming outside. Yeah. So she knew we needed to wait till the weather cleared up a little bit. And y'all, by lunchtime, I'm just, I've just been done for. I've got to take a nap. I'm tired. I'm just wore out. I don't know if it's from this sick sickness that's been lingering or from the latest sickness. Right. But nonetheless, I hated to break her heart. And Dyson said, I'll take her. I'll take her. I'll take her. Of course he did. Yep. Good daddy. Right. Right. So he thinks they're going to Clanton. Well, I do thrift store shopping. I just assume we got a couple of thrift stores here in our local hometown. And they you, just don't change out their merchandise. Then you proceed though. to tell me that I was going to take her out of town. And I was like, <laughs> well, I really don't know any out of town thrift stores. I don't. I don't. I don't. I just don't know of any. And so, anyways, she was like, Daddy, don't worry about it. We'll just go to the ones here. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay. And we'll hit yeah, the she flea was market satisfied and, yeah. when. When she found out that you didn't know she wanted to go out of town, she was like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll just go here. So we leave and we're headed out. And then I said, well, I know of one, Mary Carl. <laughs> and me and your mom's been there several times, but it's been a long time since we've been there. Last time we've been there, she was a little bit thing and bought her a whole bunch of uh, horses. Yep. She was in. She was obsessed with, with horses. horses. And. It's the one in Alabaster. And I thought it was called the Great American Thrift it Store. It did used to be. But now it's called an American Thrift Store. And this thing's a chain now. Yeah. It used to not be a chain. Right. This was the biggest thrift store in Alabama. That was their catch. So I said, let's go there. You want to go there? She said, sure. So that's where we were headed. And on the way there, we heard Bad Bad Leroy Brown <laughs> on the radio. And she got to cackling. She was thinking it. She was... thought it was hilarious, but the you know the lyrics are pretty funny. Well, she told me at a song earlier. She said, "Mama, that's not even singing. That's just talking." <laughs> I said, "So what are you saying? You think I could sing, right? If you think that they're just talking to some music?" Oh yeah, man. yeah. So you never <sighs> know. Miss Coghill's greatest hits might be coming out soon. <laughs> if that's all you got to do is talk. Oh. <laughs> so we headed. We did make it to the store. And it's big. It's in an old, old, I don't know what this thing I is. I call it a Walmart. Like I don't know what Walmart, it was. Man, but it's old. And I know, I just like the feel of it. And just go in there. The 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 pictures are faded. I mean, it's, it's old, but it is a big thrift store. And I think me and her were in there for two and a half hours. Well, I slept the entire time. I can tell you that. It was a much needed rest for me. And I woke up, and the wind was blowing so hard yeah. at our house that I thought, "Oh, I hope it's not blowing like that where they are," because it—I mean, it wasn't. 
It was not storming. It was Mm-mm. just the wind was yeah. just whipping. Yeah, it wasn't blowing up there where we were, which was, I guess, an hour from here. I must north. have slept <clears> a long time because I remember getting a text from May Carl saying, we're going to Alabaster. Mm-hmm. And the next thing I know is I was asleep. And the next thing I know is I had planned on going to put the animals up because I looked at my watch and saw what time it was. And y'all pulled in. And that's right when I woke up. Yeah, that was because an hour time. there. We were in the store for two, two and a half hours and an hour back. Oh, don't tell me that. Because I slept all night last night, too. <laughs> <sighs> I guess my body is trying to recover. I think it is. I think it is. Well, but I we, didn't feel that way today, though. I didn't have to lay down. I didn't have to take a rest, which is a good thing. It is a good thing. Um, me and her did have a great time. Um, we bought, we both bought some clothes. I got one shirt on right now that I got and I found, I like flannel shirts and plaid shirts. I just like them. And I like these, this style collar. I call it a flyaway collar. It's like a, I don't know. I like the, I think of it as Wrangler shirts, like a Wrangler. They don't have, you know, fancy button up collars. I mean, I want it to look just casual. It sounded like grocery bag coming down the (laughs) hall when they came in. (laughs) We've got a dog gate that stays at the entrance to the hall, so the little dogs don't go in all the rooms and, you know, make cross birds and whatnot. Yeah. So I hear the, the gate move, and then I hear, tsh, 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 you know, that rustling of, of grocery bags yeah. coming down the hall. Hmm. I don't know how many they had between the two of them, but they had to make a pit stop and show me what they got. <clears throat> I don't know how many shirts I got. Mary Carl got a couple of jackets. She got some shirts. Um, we bought some vintage signs, got a new lamp and gosh, we got some other stuff and it was less than a hundred dollars. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was, I don't know how many shirts I got. Well, I tell you, they lot. didn't go to the movies and if they go to the movies, that would have been 75. So y'all got almost all your stuff for the amount of a ticket for two people to go to the movie. We did. Well, um, to have popcorn and drink. We, we, we really did. And I put some shirts back. I was like, I oh, well. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> she go in these stores, like a thrift store, and like this shirt was like five ninety nine. And then you find another one, and I'm like, I like this one too, but it was ten dollars. <laughs> so like, you have to do some negotiating. Like, I'm gonna put the ten dollars <laughs> back. I'm gonna put ten dollars. I'm gonna stick with the five ninety nine shirts. <laughs> Even though you probably loved the ten dollar one, it was just the fact that you were comparing the two. You know, and I like honestly. They're already worn and broke in. I like that, you know, better than the brand new one. You know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. I really do. You got to stay away from them, though. Why? Because you, you, you. I'm not. I, I'm. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like y'all are fixed up for a while. So I we don't are have fixed to go. up for a while. We really are. So I don't have to go for a while. And uh, we, we did look at the movies, though. We looked at the movies. I told Mary Carl, this is what's playing. Um, I think Doom 2's out. But y'all, it's three hours long. Three hours long. I told Mary Carl, I said, look, we can go watch it. But it's going to be 7 o'clock when we get out. She said, mm-mm. 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 She said, I don't, want, I, don't, I don't want us driving at night. <laughs> <laughs> what 14-year-old says that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want us driving at night. She wants to be home before the... <laughs> and I asked him as soon as they walked in the door, I was like, are y'all hungry? No, we were not hungry. Mm-mm. I'm thinking to myself, what are you doing here then? <laughs> I we I even said, hey, you want to go get something to eat? She said, I'm not hungry. And I said, I'm honest with you, baby, I'm not hungry either. Well, I kicked <clears> a, <throat> I cooked a killer meal last night. You did. Are y'all ready for this? Grits. Mm-hmm. Those of you that are not from the South, it's that ground corn stuff. Mm-hmm. It's really good. And if you put some Velveeta cheese in it, that sounds nasty. It's good, though. But we've always made cheese grits, and none compare to if you cut off some Velveeta cheese and put it in your grits. That's the way to do it. <clears throat> Scrambled eggs mm-hmm. and biscuits. And I tell you, I was missing one thing. What was that? Fried bologna. Yeah, <clears throat> especially Mike had been sending me pictures that he's been cooking fried Oh, bologna. my gosh. Fried bologna, there is nothing like it. But it was a really good, quick put together meal that everybody enjoyed. It was. It was. I breakfast lo- for dinner every I now and then. I love breakfast for dinner. I do. It, I really do. It was <clears throat> it was really good and and I love cheese grits. 
man, that Velveeta just, that's not something we normally keep in, in the house. No, it's not. I think we have bought it for, for that purpose. Probably. No, I think, I think <coughs> we bought it for, uh, some uh, a game or something, and I wanted to make Rotel dip, oh. and we never did make it. Well, that's, that's okay because we, we got do. enough of it now for lots of cheese grits. <laughs> I don't do any measuring mm. out of it; yeah. I just kind of <clears throat> eyeball it. But um, to me, it is so much better than your block cheese. I tell it you, just melts well. It does, and I love when we go to the. I could eat shrimp and grits at every stop, but I'm like, I gotta try something different. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, there's there's. Very few places that I eat shrimp and grits away from home that knocks my socks off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. I'm always comparing it to what. We've had some really good shrimp and grits. Yeah. 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 And then we have that good seafood market <clears throat> here that allows us to go get fresh shrimp whenever we want it. That's right. And you make good shrimp and grits. I do. And the recipe's on our website. It sure is. <laughs> Where's we that made it? Uh, <laughs> www.coghillfarm.com. We made it for Christmas, not mm. this past year, but yeah. the year before. That's right. We did. It was good. It was good. And no, not a whole bunch of nasty dishes to contend with either. Mm -mm. Just kind of a one pot wonder. Mm, shrimp and grits. I got those Make leftover me grits. Shrimp and grits. I got those leftover grits. We got eggs. Eggs. We always got eggs. I'm saying we can have eggs and. Not meal. tonight. I have our meal plan for tonight. I have already cooked half oh, of it. Oh, what you're saying is you could pick up some shrimp tomorrow. Right. Right. I like what you're saying. But uh, Mary Carl and I earlier, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I told y'all on the last live, I guess it was, was it Saturday when we wanted collard greens? Yes. But we didn't pick them. It was raining too much. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and so earlier I wanted them and I told Mary Carl, I said, Jason was editing. I said, will you help me pick some? And I kind of felt like she was going to say, I really don't want to, but I will. Mm -hmm. But she said, yeah. Yeah. So she and I grabbed some scissors and we went out to the garden, took Dee Dee with us and cut some collard greens. And guess what? What? She told me the last ones that I cooked were too rich. Okay. Too rich. Who cooks collard greens too rich? And we don't even season them. No. Mm -mm. So I, I normally use chicken broth and that's it. Salt and pepper and collard greens. And so I'm thinking, what can I do different? So Jason suggested instead of using water, which is going to make them taste like nothing mm -hmm. compared to what we're used to, use vegetable broth. Mm -hmm. And I had vegetable broth. So I did that. My collards are ready, and they're delicious. Oh, good. I cooked those already, and we've got those prepared for this evening. And now we just need a little pan of cornbread. And uh, I got some some meat thawed out that I can whip up real quick and be good to go. Did um did you pick it to broccoli? No. Okay. I didn't. But I cut the salad greens up. Oh, we got some salad too. I washed all those and I've got to dry it off. Okay. Okay, good. But I've got it cleaned in the sink. This 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 is by far one of the best looking fall gardens I've ever had. Oh, it looks great. Yeah. It looks great. I was gonna tell y'all. So we get back on the side by side and we drive out and Mary Cross says, Where's Dee Dee? And I said, I don't know. She's probably over there by that equipment. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. She acts like there's mice or something that live over there. So she gets her little nose going over there and she just doesn't pay any attention to where I went. And so I drive on out and Mary Carl said, Mama, there she is. <laughs> she came running out of the area where the garden is. Full blast. Her little legs were straight, just like this. <laughs> and, and she never let up. She went under that gate because we didn't open the gate. We yeah. just went around. Yeah. She went under the gate all in one stride. <clears throat> Why continued running towards the side by side. And she was like, you ain't fixing to leave me over here. <laughs> But Mary Carly kind of convinced me that she went home. <laughs> she oh, went goodness. Home. I mean, she was not going to miss her ride. <clears throat> she was boogieing with her straight legs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she was doing, but she heard the side by side. Mm. Talking about uh, eggs. Yeah. Somebody sent me an email. Uh huh. And I, and, I, and, I, and I actually have forgotten about it until, until recently, until now, actually. Somebody sent an email and said that they got, they, they basically they're betting with their husband. Okay. One of them's right. Or who's the closest? Oh, to what? How many chickens do we have? Oh, goodness. I couldn't tell you. Excluding the silkies. I can't tell you how many we have. You don't know. I don't have you a You have clue. a guess? Let's see. I know how many mm. eggs we get every day. 
So I'm going to say 52. 52. And that, you know, the few we got here. I'm not counting all, those. No, I think they want to know. Just in the fence. They said all the chickens except the silkies. Oh, well, I don't know about these. I don't know how many that is. Because, I mean, we got um, Loki and his two girls. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, those three, four, five, six, seven, ten can add up quick. So let's just go with what's inside the fence. I'm going to say we got, I'm going to say we got 47 total, inside and outside. And so I said 52, but that was just inside the wire. I don't think we got 52 in there. I really don't. How many? Would do, you going to tell us? I said 47. Oh, you, oh inside? No, I'm saying who's going to count them? I'm going to count them. Not right now. No. I thought you knew the answer. I don't know the answer. I thought you knew the answer. No, I was just going to ask you what you thought. Oh. I wonder what other people think. Michael says 70. I don't think we got that many. I don't want him to count them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him to count them. But I will tell y'all the other day, he told me he thought about getting some more chickens. I did because, I mean, as soon as we, I don't care if we put one dozen or five dozen eggs out there on that farm stand, they're gone. Well, you don't really make money off eggs. No. You're not making money off of it, but it makes people happy. So you don't think we need any more? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. I'm saying, I'm saying just because. That's all I'm saying. We can have more chickens. And it's about chicken getting in time. Yeah. Um, you know, we can't just get chickens. We got to get chicks. Yeah, we got to get chicks. We'll get chicks. Um, and uh, we'll bring them on up. Um, I don't really care what kind. I just like chickens. Yeah, me too. I'm not I'm not partial. You know, for a long time there, you were like in Rhode Island Ridge, the heritage breed, whatnot. You know, old breed of chicken. I'm going to tell you all the truth. I, I really don't care what kind it is. They're going to lay no matter what it is. Now, some of them lay more than others, granted. But I like all of them. And I like the mixture. And some of them have more personality than others, too. Right. Yeah. Um, I like the I like the not all being one color. Not all being red. Um, yeah. You know, I like the flock that's... And it's quite a menagerie <laughs> now. <clears throat> it's quite it really a menagerie. Is. Which is it what really I like, is. you know. I don't yeah. want one breed. Well, I tell you, I put out three dozen this morning, and they're gone. Yeah, of course they are. They're gone. That's amazing. It is amazing, but people depend on them is what I'm saying is, you know, they enjoy them, and I don't want to ever short anybody. Does right. that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. But, um, yeah, I want some more chickens. I do. I don't know how many we need. I said six in the video. Six more? Six more. Oh, six ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ain't going to buy them, so that leaves me with the magic number. <laughs> oh, you know, I when, mean, when I go, I say, let me get three of these, three of these, three of these, and then you end up with 24. Uh, somebody want to know what breed lays the dark brown eggs with the, the Morans. We always Morons. say Moran, but I don't know how you say it. But the Morans are the Morans, the Whale Summer. What lays the dark is Pendensinka. Pendensinka. And we got one that's a cross. What's it called? Uh, well bar. Well bar. And it lays a pretty dark egg, too. Yeah. They're still not where I want them. I want a dark, 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 dark. egg. Yeah. And we're going to get that one day. One day. I'll just three at a time. We'll get there. <laughs> three by three by three. <laughs> and my brooder <laughs> will hold quite a bit of chicks. So we're good there. You know, sometimes I wonder if the neighbors or the community just I don't have a spy out because <laughs> there's some days, I mean, literally, as soon as I put the eggs out there and I'm riding a side-by-side -side back home, they, I get an alert on my phone because we got cameras. Well, my crawl and I were going to pick the collars and she looked out the window and said, Mama, somebody's at the egg car. <laughs> and I said, no, they're not. And she said, yes, they are. And we had just put eggs oh, out there. So, you know. Yeah. I told Jason today, I said, we've got so many greens. I wonder if we ought to start putting some greens out there. But, you know, I don't know how you'd make people aware that there are greens out there. I don't want them to see it. Yeah, you don't want them to see it. We'd have to get a sign or something that said collard greens. Yeah. And then, 
you know, they're not going to be washed. I'm not pre-washing. No, 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 no. We would just, we would just cut them and tie them up. And I don't know how many bundles we'd have. It may be like three two, a day, two a day, or something like that. But you know, I don't want it to go to waste. Right. They're so good. Oh my gracious! We cut all collard greens today, mm -hmm. which is the first I think. Yeah, we've been doing turnips and collards. But the turnips are so mature, you know. But the they collards, did. they just caught my eye, so we picked all collards today. They um, it's beautiful out there now. It, it is. is beautiful it's really out pretty. there. Uh, do the colored eggs? Yeah, all the eggs taste the same. Taste the same. Doesn't matter whatsoever. I was uh, I got tickled the other day. I was thinking about when back when we did that taste test, and I blindfolded you and Mary Carl and let you yeah. taste a chicken egg, a duck egg, a turkey egg, whatever. Right. Why don't we do a taste test and a green egg and a brown egg and a white egg? We could. I guarantee you won't taste a difference. There's no yeah, you won't taste a difference. It's at just all. a shell. Yep. Yeah. It is. Um, but you never know. You might you might get it right. It'd just be a good guess, though. It would be a good guess. I said 47. How many did you say? 52. 52. But, I mean, we've got to come to a happy medium. Are we counting just the white fence or are we counting all of them? Because you know as well as I do, those little bantam chickens that are out there, they, yeah. how are we going to count them? Yeah. They roost in all different places. I don't know. You know? Yeah. So I say just do the ones in the white fence. Okay. Just the ones in the white fence. That's the ones we'll count. <laughs> so is your number going down? Yeah, my number will go down. <clears throat> but you're not going to tell us what it is. I you're going to count them first, aren't you? You're going to no, count them and then make your number. No, I will say we got 38. 38? Oh, mm -hmm. my gracious. 38. I say 52 and you say 38? Yep. I hope we're not frozen. Why? Because the comments stopped. They just stopped right there. I don't think we're frozen. Are See, we frozen? There's nothing. No, they can't tell us if we're frozen. <laughs> I'm going to check on our page real quick because we can't tell. <clears throat> what would make it freeze? <laughs> no, we're not frozen. The comments are frozen. We can't see the comments. So, sorry, guys. <laughs> Something's going on. <laughs> Something's going on. We look like we're <clears throat> talking to nobody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not seeing <laughs> seeing any reaction back. They just comments just you like completely. reset it or something. No, I can't reset it. It would huh. start the whole thing. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. At well, all. I know that most days, with the exception of today, today we did not get very many eggs. But most days we get between I say twenty four and twenty six eggs. Yeah, and it's just getting started. It's gonna oh. go. It's gonna. Go. Yeah, but I'm saying this time of the year. Yeah. that's what we're getting. <clears throat> yeah. And that's quite a few eggs. That is a few eggs. But we got young chickens, and they get plenty of sunlight. And I eat eggs every day. Yeah, Jason eats literally a half a dozen eggs every day. Mm -hmm. So they do not go to waste. Every egg that a chicken lays is utilized. Somebody, somewhere. Even the silkies, I've been gathering. I gather those up. and Because they're so little, you know, it's hard to put them in the cartons and try to right. you know sell somebody that is a regular size egg so i eat those many years ago i used to have a lady that only wanted bantam eggs yeah she called them banny eggs which is what they are right but that i don't know why but that's what she liked she wanted only bantam eggs i don't know so i would you know i would fix her carton with just the bantam eggs in it and she'd be happy but our bantam there we go it's back. It going it's back going <laughs> There we go. <clears throat> With the exception of the um, silkies, we usually don't know where the little bantams lay. Yeah, yeah, we don't know where those guys. Probably, we don't have that many though. There's, I don't think there's probably one or two hens outside the Loki's two wives. Or was it two? Loki's got two wives. I thought it was just one. No, the, whatever one and Sylvie whatever one two. Sylvie one and Sylvie two. Yeah. That's it. That's the only two hens. No, there. Mm -mm. there's more. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you you mistaken. Hmm. I think Loretta's got a, a a deal with one of them. Bandit is her name. She's a black silky neck and neck. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that they have a pack. I think Loretta has talked her into laying in her porter hut every day. I keep wondering if the ducks lay in there. I well, see them over there a lot. They might, mm. but I think Loretta has something with this chicken because I see Bandit coming out of that. Bandit the chicken, not yeah. Bandit the dog. Oh, yeah. Coming out of that porter hut, and I think she lays in there, and Loretta gets it daily. If, if it lays in there, Loretta's going to get oh, it. Oh, I'm sure. And she may have had a talk with all those ducks, too. She might have said, 
I'll keep these eggs warm for y'all if you'll just lay them in my house. Oh, me. And I, and I still haven't. Loretta's been good. You know, I called her a few times. Well, I called her a few times. Her bowl is usually out in the middle of the pasture. Then I called her behind the porter hook with her bowl. But the last three times I fed them, their bowls have been right there. I fed yesterday. Where was it? All the way in the back. Was it? All the way in the back. Well, the last three times I fed her, or last few times I fed her, bowls have been right there. No, no. I was not so lucky. I had on a black rain jacket. I say that, though. I take that back. The Yesterday, or day before yesterday. Yesterday when I fed. Well, then the day before, both their bowls was in the middle of the pasture. Not too yeah, far. Yeah, that's the way it was yesterday. It wasn't very far. <clears throat> Sometimes, I tell you what. One day last week, I couldn't find it. I, I can't see them usually from the gate. When I open the gate, I have to go in and look around a little bit before I can. It was in her porter hut. I don't know what she thinks. Maybe <clears throat> she's telling those ducks, if you'll lay it in this bowl, <laughs> I'll take really good care of it. I don't know, but I got to catch her with that bowl in her mouth and her feet or food or feed in there and her taking it somewhere. And balancing it. And balancing it. I, I bet Gus thinks, lady, you are just too much. <laughs> I, I wonder what he thinks when he sees her doing that. I, I You know what? I think he's just watching this food. I don't think he's paying enough <laughs> but attention. He is not food aggressive whatsoever. You know, a lot of times I wonder if she can see. I know she can't hear. Mm -hmm. But I, when I feed them, I put their food, you know, coffee table distance apart or whatever. And she usually acts like she doesn't see hers. And she goes over and she moves him out of the way. And so he goes to her bowl and all is well. But it's like she doesn't want that one. She wants the other wants one. Wants the other one. And he didn't care. He just said, you know, give me my food. I usually care. what I do is I put his way over yonder. And then she follows me over. And I set hers over the fence. But see, I can't do that. I know. I can't. My <clears throat> arms. I don't have those go go gadget arms like Dyson does. <laughs> He can literally just reach over the fence oh, and set it straight down. Not, not I. <clears throat> so. Oh, Gus. Oh, Gus, he's a good old man. He is a good old fellow. So, are y'all planning anything special for Valentine's Day? Jason told me earlier today. He said we're not getting anything each other anything for Valentine's Day, which we already knew that. Which we, yeah, we're we haven't done that in a since long time before Mary Carl was born. But my mom comes in the door this morning with three big things of heart-shaped boxes. And y'all know what those heart-shaped boxes are, right? It's these. And she said, well, it's just a little something for those I love. So she gave me one. She gave Jason one. She gave me Carl one. And Jason and I noticed something. And that is, they don't tell you what the candy is anymore and they now, really don't it used to be the chart where it would tell you the diagram and what's what's where mm -hmm. now this is whitman's this is not junk chocolate this is the good stuff and i always thought whitman's put the put the can, kind of candy because this is what ends up happening yeah you're gonna open it up and there's gonna be you're gonna take a bite out of it and it's not gonna <laughs> be the one you like Right, Jason? That's right. So you put it back in the box. <laughs> Somebody else may want that one. <laughs> and then sometimes you get lucky and you see that little bit of pink. Oh, and you don't like out. that one. And you know you don't want that pink. You yes. don't like that one. No. I don't like the orange, the fake orange in the middle of them. I don't <sighs> like any of that jelly stuff coming out of it. But then, you know, you got like this one. This may be caramel on the inside, but it may not be. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. Why do they not put the thing in? Are they in cutting it? cost? Are they I already look. Oh, it's not. Yeah, on the bottom. I already look. I was thinking. I didn't took it all apart. <laughs> I was thinking maybe that's what they did. But um, <laughs> no, it's nowhere. It's not on the bottom of the can. It's not on the lid. It's not on the inside. And I've noticed this the for several few years. If I ever seen one of these, it could save a lot of this from happening. <laughs> They used to tell you if they would just tell you what they it used is. to tell you because they didn't they didn't tell us this year, and that's that wouldn't take a lot of cost, I wouldn't think. Yeah, it maybe, cost. maybe have a printout right there. Know. You know, this one is this white stuff on the inside. Jason's gonna say, No, no, I don't want that one. 
And, I don't want that. And, and it tasted like <laughs> peanuts. That's what threw me off. It was I thought it was going to be creamy. It, it tasted like peanut. I thought it did. What do you think? I don't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it either. <laughs> hey, but one other person oh, come behind hey. us and maybe like it. <laughs> <laughs> and Mary Carl don't like it. It's going to stay right there. That's right. Mm. Well, maybe that's why Far said what he said. Life is like a box of chocolate? Yeah. Hmm. Right? I, I put that one maybe, back. Yeah, put that one back. <laughs> I just don't know what it is. That that's mystifying to me. Um, yeah. You know, maybe it there's an answer. Maybe it does cost a lot more to put the names of the chocolate. Wait, and this is this is how my mind works. So let's say it cost them five cents to print that out. They probably it sell cost them five cents. They probably sell three million of those things, or I don't know, probably some more than that, more than I think. But just say three million. You add that up. That's a lot of money. It is, but it sure is important for me to know what I'm going to eat. <laughs> That's right. Because there's a lot of times mm. you bite into it and it's so bad you might have to spit it out. Like That's that. embarrassing. Like that one. Yeah, I didn't like that. Like that one. If if I didn't like it and you didn't like it, that's a pretty good chance y'all wouldn't like it either. You know, I I got a feeling that the majority of the people like the same candies the most. Right. That's what I think. So why don't they just put those in there instead of putting the ones that nobody likes to eat we may be wrong how many of y'all like that strawberry field candy the orange field is the awful one mm. Mm. orange field i don't think any of those are orange field i see several people in here saying that their anniversary is tomorrow so happy anniversary to happy you. anniversary all you guys out there that's right yeah guys and gals well i just i've explained this in the video this guys is cross the board like y'all yeah I get it. Yeah. I totally get it. Whitman's has got to do better. They got to do better. They do. Somebody said Russell Stover still puts the uh, the, the the chart in there. Huh. Mm -hmm. They might not this year. You might be surprised. You might be. Because I thought Whitman's did. I don't know. Hmm. I know one thing. What's that? I know this time tomorrow, I'll be at the tongue doctor. Isn't that awesome? I will be at the tongue doctor, and I well by this time yeah, I yeah. will know what's wrong with my tongue. Fingers crossed, we do. I will know what's wrong yeah. with my tongue. I had to <clears> pick <throat> up Jason some batteries for a game camera earlier, and he needed twelve of them, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> and I thought to myself, I might as well pick up a twelve pack of nine volts while I'm in there. <laughs> so you stick your tongue to it, so the doctor can <laughs> stick his tongue to it. I read a lot of comments that oh, said me. you guys have never touched your tongue to a battery. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it was just kind of like our generation that did those kind of things. I don't know. Because most of the people were like, I don't know. I'm 75 years old and I've never stuck my tongue to a battery. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't have seen my grandmother sticking her tongue to a battery either. I guess not. And my mama, she's yeah. never stuck her tongue to yeah. it. I think we were just bad. I guess so. I bet Mike stuck his tongue. Oh in the yes, he sure has. I'm sure he has. I can't. I'm just thinking. All my friends have stuck a tongue, their tongue to a battery at some point. Oh well, I kind of felt that An way too. Battery. But I found out differently when I started reading the comments. Know, they were like, "Why people. would you do that?" Yeah, there was a lot of people. <laughs> you know, and I'm thinking, why mm -hmm. wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? <laughs> you gotta see if that battery is still good. See, I, I agree with Crystal. Nobody. She said she had a brother, and that's who, who. You know, I did not have any. Brothers. I know, but then I said you didn't have any siblings. But you know, I had an older brother too, and it was a typical older brother, and uh, that's how I got my. He tricked me into sticking my tongue to the battery. Well, nobody tricked me. I think I was just <laughs> not very wise to do that. <laughs> right? I guess so. But I will be thrilled <clears throat> if yeah. I have some answers tomorrow. That's right. Because that candy not only tasted terrible because of its makeup, it tasted terrible because of my mouth. Right. And my taste buds are there. Mm -hmm. I don't say that. It's just a sensation. Uh, I'm ready for it to be gone. So hopefully you'll get some answers tomorrow. Oh my gosh. That'd I be hope great. So. I hope so. Ugh. I can't take it much more. Well, hopefully when you tell him that, you know, 
it feels like you're sticking a nine volt battery to your tongue. He doesn't give you a weird look. He's gonna know exactly. He's gonna like, oh, yeah. Well, there this were is, a lot of people. Um, this is what we need to do in the right little here. short video that I posted, just updating on uh -huh. me being better, or whatever. Um, that said, it's thrush. It's thrush. It's thrush. It's thrush. My doctor confirmed that it's not thrush. She is a general practitioner at a major hospital. Right. She looked at my tongue. She scraped it, whatever. It's not thrush. She's convinced it's not thrush. Of course, she could be wrong. She could be wrong. She could be wrong. But y'all know what else? This is something I thought of today. Do you know when I did that live here and I went to the emergency room because my blood pressure went so high? Yeah. Yeah. When, I, when we were in that emergency room, I told that doctor about my tongue because it was happening mm -hmm. and I was in there. And he, he, he did not. He, just, he said it wasn't thrush. He, he said it wasn't thrush, right. but he didn't care to go into detail about what it was because right. that wasn't what I was there for. Right, right. So um, him looking at it saying, you know, well, it's not thrush. Yep. It doesn't <clears throat> need to be treated for thrush. It's, it's a two-time, you know, bet that it's not thrush i wish it was and you were be, treated for thrush and it didn't I change know, anything it didn't change anything yeah. um the first time i went in that makes me wonder you know yeah why did i get treated for thrush the first time but i guess she just immediately thought that's, that's what, what it is just what everybody does <clears throat> that's what it is yeah. but um i mean she could be wrong and goodness sakes i would be thrilled to know that it's something semi-simple to yes. treat you know if it's if it's that simple and i take the nice statin or the that fluke and whatever that peel is, whatever, and get it out of me. Woo wee! I'll be a happy girl. That would be awesome. I might eat this Whitman's chocolate <laughs> that I don't even like. <laughs> um, but um, oh goodness, I, I felt bad because I did not explain in that video <laughs> that the doctors had said it's not thrush because right. that's what people think automatically. You say your tongue's white; it's got a sensation. That's not it. It's not it. Hopefully, you get answers though. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna Maybe go. you ought to stick a battery to your tongue. Why should I? I already may, got that feeling. That may knock it out. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, though. Just Please don't. It. <laughs> it liable to knock me into a, a new symptom. It would have to be a new one, too, for it to work. <laughs> <laughs> you know well, I didn't I mean? buy any nine volts today. All I bought was mm -hmm. double A's. You know, your nine volts, that little bitty battery. Mm -hmm. Right? That little, little. It's little. It's little. It's flat. Six volts like this. Oh, you thinking I should take a six volt with me? Mm. I bet that six volt's got more amps, though, and that's what gets you. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah. Nine, nine volts is more volts than a six volt. But the, the amperage, my dad being an electrician, and everybody in my family is electrician, but me, um, it's the amperage that gets you. You know, your mind is voltage, which voltage does, but the amperage is what is what does the... Which we can knock you out, you know, and, and you may not wake back up. Uh, six volt? It's the amperage. I don't know the voltage. Dad said the voltage really isn't. It's the amperage that gets you. I know your daddy will take a wire and, oh, that's hot. Yeah, he don't even use a meter sometimes. <laughs> and I'm like, good <laughs> gracious. <laughs> that's hot. <laughs> oh, but he gets man. prepared, too, you know. You can see the look on his face where he's he's fixing to go in. <laughs> yeah. And he won't get much reaction out of him. No. You know, hot. if it if it's regular 120, he'll just touch it and say, yep, it's, it's hot. Yeah. But he's been doing it since gosh knows how long. I remember when um when we built our house and you and I both that was a learning curve for us both to mm -hmm. to learn how to do things that we had never done before in our life. But we didn't have the, the means to yeah. pay somebody to do it. So we did it ourselves. And I can remember him coming over there one day and me wiring up a light fixture. And it was like in the extra bedroom mm -hmm. or something. And I had watched him do it so many times that I knew, you yeah. know, the black went to the black and the red went to the red. And you twist it together, put your wire nuts on it. What? He was so impressed. <laughs> He was so impressed. He said, girl, I'm going to make an electrician out of you after all. <laughs> <laughs> but we had to do what we had to do. And That's right. Not to say he wouldn't help me, but, you know, I wanted to do it myself. And we did. We did. We did a lot on that Look, first house. <laughs> last time I was in um, Home Depot or Lowe's, it was when I was getting the flooring 
No, it wasn't. It was before we bought the flooring for the bus. Because uh-huh. when we bought the flooring, you were with me. I looked at it before then just to get an idea. There was a, a lady and gentleman standing on the aisle, and they were looking at the flooring. And the husband said to me, have you ever had any experience with this kind of floor? And he's expecting me to say, yeah, I had somebody put it down in my house. Yeah. Yes, sir. I've put it down in three houses. He looked at me <laughs> and I said, he said, put it down in three houses. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> and the wife said, so we don't need to pay anybody to install it. I looked at the husband. I said, your wife can put it down. And he was like, I don't know about that. <laughs> But I think that I encourage them to try it. What's going to hurt? What's it going to hurt? Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Especially this new floor. It's not like you're gluing it down or nailing it down. it's so easy. Yeah, it just floats. It's so easy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you've got that kind of mentality that I'd like to be able to do it myself, I just don't know if Mm -hmm. I can. Take the plunge and you'll be very surprised. Yep. That's what we did. Look where we are now. That's right. We feel like we can do a little bit of everything. We do feel like we can do a little bit of everything. There's I'm still a... not a carpenter, though. I can tell you that. Well, but that doesn't mean you won't attempt to do something. <laughs> no, you're right. You can always make an attempt. And we know if it's something that's too big for us to handle. Mm-hmm. And the one thing that we decided not to do in that old house was hang sheetrock. I can remember the, the day that we got in the mail a book about how to install plumbing. I was going to do all the plumbing. He was going to install all the plumbing in our all first the, house that we built. The drains, everything. And when we got that book, I said, Jason, I said, you can do anything in that house that you want to do. But number one, we're not hanging our own sheetrock. And mm-hmm. number two, we're not plumbing it ourselves. And I'm so thankful we didn't. Me too, because at the time, I did not know that I absolutely despise plumbing. Oh, well. And you had a full-time job, so the only time you had to do this was, you know, after, after work. After work, yeah. and you'd be spending more time fixing what you messed up. <laughs> I, I, that's, that's, I, I don't know what it is about plumbing. I just, if I need plumbing issues, I just call Lester. He, yeah, he come do it. Lester can do it. <laughs> that's right. Well, if y'all can't tell, I still yeah. got a little bit of a cough. Yeah. But what I've got is nothing compared to Mary Carl. Yeah, Mary Carl's got a good little cough. She's got a cough. Yeah. And I tell her, I said, please, baby, please. You know, you're not supposed to suppress your cough these days. But a cough drop's not going to, you know, hurt her. Well, you need some relief every now and then. Yeah. I know she's got to have a headache. Yeah. Because just this little bit that I've coughed being up mm-hmm. here. Just, and I've, I've been, I counted it up earlier. It's 10 days. Since I've had my first symptoms. Ten, Ten days. days. And I still am feeling, you know, not 100%. Not back where I was. Anyway. Right. Yeah. Well, knock on wood, I didn't get it. You sure didn't. Yeah. I think you had it the whole time. I just fought it off. You had it and your body was reacting by being sleepy. Hmm. Hey, I was sleeping now. I know. I was sleeping. But you're not sleeping anymore, are you? Mm-mm. I wonder if the honey would help her. Well, she told me, she said, Mama, you remember that concoction I made two years ago? And I just thought about it, and I was like, what? <coughs> she said, if I never ever need to make my own cough syrup, I know how. I said, well, baby, where is it? <laughs> where is it? Why are you not using it? Just probably some in the, she put some in the cabinets up there. She says it stores in a dark place, and yeah. she'll put them in the top of the cabinets and forget about it. It's probably good and ready. Oh, I'm sure it is. I bet it's stout. I I need I need a look. You do. Tell her. Take a little teaspoon of this. My mama used to make some homemade cough syrup. <clears throat> and it was <coughs> it was peppermint. And I want to say it had some honey in it, had a little bit of lemon in it, and it had whiskey in it. That's a hotty toddy. And she would mix it up. And I don't remember the peppermint was so strong. That um, it kind of killed all the flavors because oh. I couldn't take regular cough medicine. Yeah, and she came in, and I haven't given her any. I could not take regular cough medicine, so my mom made that uh, homemade cough medicine, and I can't remember if it worked or not. But um, that was awful nice of her to do that because I couldn't take the regular cough medicine. Yeah, and it would just I couldn't do it. Just, well, obviously, ugh. talking makes me cough more yeah. because I haven't. 
coughed very much. Mm -hmm. But now I'm feeling like horse almost. I may look that up. I may, I may, I may make my mom's homemade cough medicine for me and Carl. As long as I don't have to go to the store, we'll be all right. I think we got everything. We got peppermint. We Is got, it regular peppermint though? Yeah, she melted it down. Oh. She would melt it down. It was all melted together. I can't, I mean, I'm talking, I was probably six, seven, eight years old. Hmm. Long time ago. Yeah. I wonder if she remembers it. I'm sure she does. I wonder if she remembers the recipe. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, she probably said, well, I just put a little bit of this, yeah. a little bit of that. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like my Velveeta cheese grits. <laughs> yeah. Just add a little bit of cheese. I can't tell you how much. Just add it. Add a little cheese. I saw somebody say Jägermeister. Oh, my <sighs> gracious. I can't. That, that tastes too much like licorice. I love anything. You that like the like, flavor of it. I don't like the flavor. I like anything that. I like the taste of cough medicine. Mm-mm, I, like the I like the taste of anything that's like potent like that. Yeah. It's potent. It's potent. Mm. Mm. I'm fixing to go cook some cornbread to go with these collard greens that are sitting in a pot. I'm ready. Are you? I'm ready. How much? How, how long is it going to take? Oh, not long. Just 20 minutes. Because I'm, I'm about 80% through with my video, so there's no sense of me getting on there and then stopping again and go eating some cornbread and cornbread. Well, are you real hungry? I'm getting hungry, yeah. So I better go ahead and cook. Yeah. And doing the steak too? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Air fried steak. I figured it out. I know yeah, you how got to do it down. It you got it down. So air fried steak and collard greens, mm -hmm. cornbread. Might even roast some carrots. Who knows? Mm. Might get crazy. I see a lot of people saying that the honey will help. The tea, the Just stuff. honey? Mm-hmm. It, I think what it is, it coats. Hmm. I hear she's I hear coughing. She's coughing right now. I'm, I'm going to see if she'll take a little bit of honey. Oh, she'll take it. As yeah. long as it ain't cough medicine, she'll <laughs> take it. Just like her daddy. <laughs> Just like her daddy. Oh, goodness. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's live. Got a video coming out tomorrow. It should be on time. Um, I think I'm everything's... You're not sleeping now. anymore. Yeah, I, yeah, everything's on on schedule now. Unless he eats all this chocolate. I'm not eating all that chocolate. He eats all this chocolate. I can't eat that stuff. Let, let's just do this before we go over. What do y'all think this one is? What does it look like? We're going to break it in half. We're not going to bite into it because I'm scared it's going to be it's, a bad one. It's got pink in it. You think it's pink? Yeah. What do y'all think? It's going to squirt all over me. Oh, it's caramel. Looks no, like, it's that it. almond joy stuff. It's a nugget. Nug nugget. What do they call it? Not nugget. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we got to go. <laughs> there it is. N O U G A T. I don't nugget. like it either. Nugget. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Tomorrow. Oh, goodness. And I hope you get an indicator as to what you got on your candy. I hope, I hope your candy's got a list. I hope it does, too. <laughs> and throw them other ones out. Oh. You don't have to tell nobody. They won't, they won't need difference. I will say this. If, if you enjoy the animals, you're going to like tomorrow's video. Well, we're all here for the animals, so... <laughs> Gonna be a good one. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> Y'all be good. Oh, Y'all be good. Almost did it again. Yeah.